Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this lecture, we will go through second normal form. We have already understood the concept of first normal form, and now we will understand second normal form. So a relation to be in second normal form, he has to satisfy the condition of first normal form. Very similar to the thing that a student to be appear in class twelfth exam, he has to be already passed in class. 11th or 10th right so in second normal form let's get started let's write the formal definition first for second normal form the definition says a relation is said to be in second normal form if it is in first normal form and it satisfies certain criteria so what is the criteria criteria is all the non prime attributes are fully functional dependent on any key of relation r we have already understood what is non prime attribute to revise non prime attribute is a attribute which is not part of the any candidate key of a relation okay so if it is a part of any key candidate key it will be prime attribute if it, if it is not part of any candidate key it will be non prime attribute fine so a relation to be in second normal form he has to be in first normal form and all the non prime attributes of that relationship should be fully functional dependent on any candidate key okay so fully functional dependency also we have understood so if you are not clear go to the previous lecture of fully functional dependency so fully functional dependency is basically that if x determines y it means if x determines y means y cannot be determined by any of the subset of x proper subset of x okay it cannot be determined by any of the proper subset of x then we say that y is fully functional dependent on x nice now let's have an example and try to understand whether a particular given relationship is in second normal form or not for a set of functional dependencies f which is given for relation r we have uh, we have to find out whether this particular relationship or relation is in second normal form or not so first of all we have to find out what are the non prime attributes of this relation so we will find out to find out non prime attributes we will have to find out what is the key of relation so we will go and find out whether what is the key of this relationship so as from the first functional dependency itself we can see that a closer of a a closer is equal to is equal to a from re reflexivity and b c d e f it can already i mean it can determine fine so here as you can see this is so a is a candidate key candidate key equal to a now what are the non prime attributes non prime attributes so b c d e f fine now we will say whether any of the attribute can be determined from the subset of a that is key so as we can see that a is a key which is single attribute so any subset proper subset will be phi right so here we can see that b c d e f all are fully functional dependent on candidate key a b c d e f are fully functional dependent right so we can say that this is a this is this relation is in second normal form correct no the problem here is we have to see correctly that in the definition itself they are saying any key this is very important point and most of us do wrong here so we have to take care that it is saying any any means you have to find out all the possible candidate key for a particular relationship before you decide what are the non prime attributes here we have to find out all the possible candidate keys of this particular relation so we will go and find out all the possible candidate key so a we have already found out <coughs> now we will check whether bc is a candidate key as we can see bc can determine all the other attributes so bc will be a candidate key now we have to check are there any other possibility so as i have already calculated so this is these two kind of candidate keys will be there for this relation you can check it now 
we have to see what are the non prime attributes so non prime attributes will be the attributes except abc that is d e and f fine now we have to see that whether any of the non prime attribute is partially functional dependent on candidate key so if this is the condition this relationship will not be in second normal form so let's check d d is fully functional dependent on a d is fully functional dependent on bc so for d it is fully functional dependent now e e can be determined by d but d is not a candidate key okay now here e is fully functional dependent on bc e is fully functional dependent on a so these two attributes these two non prime attributes are fully functional dependent on candidate key now let's check of check for f so f if you can see that f is fully functional dependent from these two functional dependency but here f can be determined by b only where we have candidate key bc so bc determines f fine but b alone can determine f from this functional dependency b determines f it means f is partial functional dependent on candidate key bc which is wrong and which i mean which is not the case of second normal form for a relation to be in second normal form all the non prime attributes should be fully functional dependent on candidate keys any candidate key so this f is fully functional dependent on a candidate key a but this f is not fully functional dependent on this candidate key bc okay so this particular relation is not in second normal form so the relation to be in second normal form what we will do we will break this this relation into two relations so how do we do, do this here we have a small pictorial representation of the relationship and the functional dependency this a is determining all the elements this bc combinedly determining all the remaining attributes this b determines f and d determines e now we have to see which of the particular functional dependency is creating problem for this relationship to be in second nf so as we know from this that this particular functional dependency is creating problem because bc is a key and this f can be partially determined and this f is partially dependent on candidate key that is it can be determined alone by b so what we do here is we will separate this particular functional dependency which is creating problem into another relationship that is we will say r2 and r2 will contain the elements which is in this particular functional dependency that is b determines f so here will be b and f now this r1 will contain the attributes of remaining functional dependencies that is a b a b c d e fine so now this particular r2 if you see the functional dependencies this one is removed right b determines f will come here and the remaining functional dependencies will come under this particular relationship and now we can surely say that this r1 will be in second nf okay so i hope this is clear you have to understand it well you should practice it and you should practice more questions on second nf so if you have any new question or any other doubt you can ask your question in doubt section thanks for watching